Hi, welcome to Forever Yoga. I'm Susan Foxley, a registered yoga instructor and a certified life coach. I've been teaching yoga for over two decades, and today I want to share the gift of yoga at a pace that's right for you. It's all about life, body, and balance. Let's get started. So everyone at home, just find yourself on the floor. If you have a yoga mat at home, grab a yoga mat and just sit in a comfortable cross-legged position. And we have Gordon and Lawrence joining us today. And Gordon has a couple blankets underneath him to lift up his heart. And Gordon and, and Lawrence haven't been doing yoga for years and years. They're kind of new to this. So why don't you join us too if you're new to yoga? Sit in a cross-legged position, please, and bring your index and thumb together and lift your heart, please. And go ahead and close your eyes and just check in with yourself. Check in with your breath. Ground your sitting bones, please. Lift your heart and lift the crown of your head. And I'd like you to just take a big inhale, please. And hold. And exhale through the mouth, please. Take another inhale, please. Hold. Exhale. Let go of the stresses. Inhale. Let go. Nice. Keeping the face nice and relaxed. The spine nice and tall. Beautiful grounding in your sitting bones. And what I'd like you to do, please, is start in child's pose. So Gordon and Lawrence are going to join us in child's pose, bringing the big toes together and the knees spread, and just go ahead and come down. And you can choose Yogi's Choice to have your arms by your sides or your hands out in front of you. But I like the hands by the side just so you can check in. Yoga means yoking, union, to connect with yourself, connect with your own spirit. In our world today, we focus so much on the outside world and all the chaos and the drama and the emails and the texting. Give yourself this 20, 25 minutes for you to check in with you and how you're doing. Check in with your breath and your body. Most of us spend 90% of our day from the neck up. I invite you to spend 90% of your day from the neck down. Focus on your body and your breath instead of all this mental chatter. Let's just focus on our breath, drop down, relax your beautiful temples and jaw, relax your shoulders, please. Relax your upper arms and your forearms, just drop down into the earth. Let go of all your worries, your fears, your anxieties, and breathe in beautiful energy. Send oxygen to every cell, every ligament, every joint, every organ. Clearing and cleaning your body with your breath, please. Go ahead and stretch your arms forward. This is so yummy for your lower back. You stretch your arms forward. Beautiful. Keeping your buttocks down. You'll feel a nice stretch in your lower back. Nice, Lawrence. Nice, Gordon. And if you want to, Gordon, you can relax your forehead on the ground. That'll also really quiet the mind. Yoga is supposed to stop the fluctuations of the mind and stop the mental chatter. Just makes the spaces between the thoughts bigger so you kind of get into that kind of quiet space. Go ahead and really walk the arms forward. Stretch your pinkies away from your hips. Go ahead and come on up, please. And we're going to come, come on, make your hands, make sure your hands are right underneath your shoulders. Spread your fingers wide, please. Ground your hands and knees. And let's do cat-cow pose. Look up to the sky. Bring that spine deeply into the body. Look up. Slide those shoulder blades down your back, please. Bring that spine deeply into the back of the body. This is really good for your posture so you don't look like Hunchback of Notre Dame as you get older. Look to your belly button. Curl like a cat, arch like a cat. Belly button into the spine. Bring the mid-spine up to the heavens. Nice, Lawrence, nice, Gordon. And then look up again, please. We're working on the spine. We're doing backbending poses today. We're gonna work on the spine and open up the heart center. And then go ahead and look to your belly button. Scoop, this is called Udhyana Bandha, working those abdominal muscles. 
as you ground your hands and knees. Nice breath, Gordon. And then look up to the sky, keeping the elbows nice and straight. And then spine neutral. Let's just do some balancing. Just try to lift your right hand and your left leg. Spinal balancing. Beautiful stretch. Your right arm forward and your left leg back. Come on down. And let's go ahead and reach the left arm and the right leg. And stretch. We're just warming up the body so we can open up the heart. Beautiful. And come on down. Come back into child's pose. Stretch the arms out in front of you. Crawl the fingertips even more away from your lower back. Come on up again, please. And let's go into downward dog. Reach the buttocks up to the heavens and breathe. Bring the buttocks up to the sky, please. Nice, Gordon. Beautiful. I'm going to adjust Gordon. Nice, Lawrence. Lawrence, if you want to try to gra ground your heels, you want to bring your buttocks up to the sky. Thighs back, round your hand. Beautiful. And then we're going to just gently bring our knees down to the ground. And then from here, let's just step the right foot between our hands. Stay there. Just pause there. What I want you to do is find stability on your right foot and your left knee before we come up, please. And engage your belly muscles, bringing your right hand to your thigh. Now, when you do this, for those that have balancing problems, please grab a chair and place it next to you if you're having a hard time balancing. And you can stay on your left toes or on the top of your left foot. Yogi's choice. And then from here, go ahead and interlace your fingertips, please. And reach your arms straight out in front of you. Retract the arm bones back, please. And just try to reach your hands up to the sky. And then slowly look up to the heavens. It's a little bit of a backbending pose. So just look up to the heavens. Stretch up, please. And then just gently bring your hands in prayer. Bring your hands to your right foot, please, and straighten your left leg like you're running a race. Stretch your heart forward and your left leg back, and stretch your spine. Most of my clients, I measure them before I start working with them, and most of my clients have grown a half an inch. Lift your right arm up. Beautiful. Look up at your thumb. Nice. Grounding that left hand as you reach your right hand up to the sky. Beautiful, Gordon. Really nice. Bring that right hand back down, please, and just drop your left knee down to the ground and come into child's pose and rest, please. Long inhalations and long exhalations, quieting the mind. Beautiful. Checking in with the breath. Feeling the expansion and contraction of the ribs, please. And let's stretch the arms out again. Come onto your hands and knees. And downward dog. Work those legs back. And what this does is it creates energy. So, Gordon, let's bring your fingertips forward. That looks good. Spread the fingers wide. Beautiful. And bring the buttocks up to the sky. Nice. And Lawrence, if you'd like to, you can bring your feet hip distance apart. Nice work. And just really work these buttocks up to the sky. Grounding your right and left hands. Gently come down onto your knees, please. And for those at home that are feeling pain in your knees, please grab a blanket and place them underneath your knees. And we're just going to do the other side. So bring your left foot forward, please. Get grounded first. Ground your left knee. Round your right left foot and your right knee, please. And either be on your toes, nice Gordon, or the tops of your feet. Your choice. Bring your hands to your front thigh. And before we go up, engage your belly muscles, please. Go ahead and interlace the fingertips. And go ahead and retract the arm bones. And reach up. And my 80-year-old clients, yes, my, I teach yoga to 70 and 80-year-olds. And yes, my 80, 85-year-old clients do these poses. So no matter what age, you can work up to doing this. And then look up to the heavens if you'd like to. Go back a little bit. Beautiful. And then release your hands at your heart, please. Bring your hands to your left foot and just straighten your back leg. 
as you straighten your back knee, look forward and stretch like you're running a race. And go ahead and lift your left arm up. Again, this prevents osteoporosis in your upper back. So twisting the upper back prevents osteoporosis. And every pose has a gaze. So look up at your thumb. If you're feeling dizzy, feel free to look down. Nice work. Gently bring that left hand down and gently drop the knee down and come back into child's pose. Nice work, Gordon. Nice work, Lawrence. And just 20 minutes of yoga a day or 20 minutes of yoga three times a week. And if you can't do that, 10 minutes of yoga. If you could just do 10 minutes of stretching a couple times a week, I promise you, you're going to feel so much better. I started doing yoga right out of college, and I was widowed at 30 years old and raised my son. He's 19 now, but I taught yoga through all that, and yoga gave me solace. Losing my husband and having to raise a son by myself was very challenging, but yoga helped get me through it. That's why I chose yoga as a profession, because it gave me such solace and peace to just connect with myself and, and let the, you know, the stress of the outside world fall away during my practice. So let that be an opportunity for you today to just let the stress fall away and drop down into yourself and connect with you. Go ahead and come up onto your hands and knees, please, Gordon and Lawrence, and come back into Downward Dog and work those legs back, work buttocks up to the sky. You can even come onto your tippy toes and see if that helps you reach your buttocks up to the heavens. Nice work, and for you at home, if this is hard, you can bend your knees. And then from here, let's go ahead and come right down onto our bellies, please, and stretch our, our arms forward and our legs back. Go ahead and lift your right arm and your left leg. This strengthens the lower back. Nice, Gordon, nice, Lawrence. Lift and stretch, spread the fingers, spread the toes. Come on down and other side, please. Left arm, right leg. Reach and breathe. Really nice. And then slowly come on down and lift your right arm and your left leg. Come on down. Other side. If you have neck pain, please look down. Always honor yourself. And always check with your physician and ask if it's okay to do yoga. Get the green light with yoga. Come on down. Reach both arms and legs up, please. Stretch your fingers, stretch your toes. Beautiful, balancing on your belly button. Come on down. Let's just fly the hands back. Shalambasana, let's fly onto our bellies. This is so good to prevent osteoporosis or that as we age, our head tends to lean forward. And especially if we look over computers, we drive a lot looking over steering wheels. This reverses that. It also strengthens those neck muscles. Go ahead and rest. Come down. Beautiful. Just take a little break. Focus on your breath. And go ahead and lift up again. Lift up. Spread your fingers. Spread your toes. And go ahead and bring your cheek to the other side and rest. Rest your legs, rest your arms. Beautiful work. At home, that might be enough for you today. But if not, let's keep going. Let's bring the hands underneath the heart, please. Fingertips forward, elbows out. And we're gonna do these cobras that are a little different than normal cobras that you see. And we're gonna slowly come on up. It's a heart opener. So as we do this, just think about things that you love. Your pets, your children, the beautiful ocean, the flowers. Just focus on things that you love. And then slowly come on down, meditating on the heart center, meditating on things that you love, just opening up the heart. Slowly come on up again, please. Beautiful. Backbends are so incredibly energizing. They help alleviate depression. If you're feeling depressed, we do a lot of backbends for depression. Slowly come on down, please. And if you're feeling any discomfort in your lower back, please do not come up really high. 
you may just want to come up just a few inches come on up again please and gently look over to the right and then back to center please and look over to the left please nice work and then back to center come on down and let's go ahead and fly those arms back and lift those legs balancing on your belly and the heart is about forgiveness and it's not about forgiveness is more about so we don't hold those pains or resentments in our hearts so learning to forgive clearing and cl cleaning any resentments any anger let it all go clearing and cleaning that out of the center of your chest so you can be clear and clean a beautiful conduit relax release let go nice Lawrence nice Gordon and then from here let's just do one more Cobra this time the fingertips are straight ahead bring them underneath your shoulders let's do a regular Cobra come on up and then we're gonna come on up, look up to the sky and then from here come right into child's pose beautiful keep your arms out in front of you please and crawl your fingertips forward as you relax your buttocks nice work and just check in with your breath and just let go surrender all of your worries your fears your laundry list of things that you need to get done completely just let it go give yourself this moment to check in with yourself nice and then slowly come on up onto your hands and knees and I'm gonna have you both sitting onto your buttocks and your legs straight out in front of you please and from here Dandasana we're gonna ground the finger hands behind our buttocks and go ahead and push the backs of the knees gently into the earth and nice Gordon nice Lawrence nice all of you at home and if your knees are creating any discomfort please roll something underneath your knees so um, as to not create any more tension so if you want to put a blanket underneath your knees at home that's fine and go ahead and lift your heart lift the crown of the head as you iron the right leg and the left leg into the earth and spread those toes wide it took me three years of yoga to spread my toes because of all the sh awful shoes that I wore spread your toes nice and then from here bend your right knee and then your left knee and we're gonna go right into table pose from here we're gonna flip the fingertips and so they're facing our buttocks so look at your hands and make sure the fingertips are facing your buttocks and move your hands about 12 inches Gordon away from your buttocks so even more move your hands I'm sorry move them away from your buttocks so yes perfect and then from here we're gonna go ahead and lift the buttocks and slowly open up and lift open up the hearts now if you have neck pain look straight ahead if you feel comfortable drop your head back and open up the throat especially people who text a lot or look down opening that's really good for the thyroid to open up that throat and let the let the head go if you're feeling discomfort come down come on down and then from here we're gonna just take a little bit of a break if you're feeling any discomfort just rest and slowly come on up again and you may just want to come up a little bit you don't need to come up all the way just a couple inches just to get some strength in the upper arms and strengthen the in the legs and strengthen the lower back if you can come all the way up feel free to do so and then just come on down please take a little bit of a rest here this really strengthens the arms and also really helps any kind of arthritic pain in the elbows or the wrists or the fingers slowly come on up again and it also strengthens your lower back drop your head back if you if you choose nice work and then slowly come on down and from here we're gonna go ahead and rest on our backs and go ahead and hug your knees into your chest give yourself a big hug really nice and then from here drop your feet down and slowly roll onto your right side and come on up roll onto your right side come on up please and let's bring the feet over this way and our heads this way and we're just gonna lie down come on up Gordon and we're just gonna sw sw come on down and slowly lift the buttocks up 
and then slowly lower down. Beautiful, and then roll back onto your right side. Let's, let's switch around again for fun and bring your toes this way. And let's do that again. And then from here, let's lift the buttocks up, lift the buttocks up. A little higher, ground your right foot and your left foot and slowly lower down. Again, this is a back bending pose. Lift up again, please. And then slowly lower down. Now from here, lift up again and clasp your hands underneath your buttocks, please. And roll your shoulders if you can underneath your body. Beautiful, gorgeous, Gordon. And just look up to the sky so you don't compromise your neck. Gorgeous, and lift, lift your buttocks. Ground your feet into the earth. Make sure your feet are stable into the earth. And look straight ahead. And slowly come on down. Nice work, you guys. Very nice work. And then hug your knees into your chest, please. And then we're just going to just gently work on the abdominals. Bring your hands behind your head, please. Take your right elbow to your left knee and bicycle. Straighten your right leg, please. And then other side. Left elbow to you. Beautiful work. And then other side, please. And then other side. Beautiful. And then the other side again. And then the other side. And then hug your knees into your chest, please. And bring your arms out to the side. Reach your arms out and bring your knees drop them over to the right and gaze over to the left. Beautiful. And if you'd like to, Lawrence, we can bring the arms out straight out to the side. Beautiful work. And what the twists do, if anyone, if you're doing back bends at home, do twists after the back bend, please, because it'll release your lower back. And doing this pose, doing this pose when you wake up in the morning or right after back bends, it'll release any lower back pain. Nice work, Gordon. Nice work, Lawrence. And then bring the knees back to center and drop your knees out to the other side. And gaze the other. Beautiful. Nice work. Gorgeous. And then from here, come back to center and give your knees a big hug. Nice. And then go ahead and straighten your legs out, please. and rest your legs on the floor. And from here, your palms are open to the sky. And we're just gonna focus on Shavasana. Close your eyes, please. And close your eyelids from top to bottom. And go ahead and relax your forehead and your cheeks and your jaw. And if you're having any lower back pain, please roll up a blanket underneath your knees to release any, any discomfort in your lower back. And go ahead and release the jaw, the shoulders, the upper arms and the forearms. And let the palms being open to the sky, let it become symbolic of all the blessings the universe has in store for you. Breathe in health. Exhale stress. Inhale faith. Exhale, fear. And just focus on your breath, relaxing all of your facial muscles. And just feel the expansion and contraction of the ribs and the rise and fall of your belly. Relax your pelvis, your buttocks, your thighs, your shins, your calves your feet and toes and let the earth support you and as you rest on the earth become aware of your cervical vertebrae right behind your neck that little curve right behind your neck just bring your awareness there and how the back of the skull is resting and bring the awareness of the floor underneath your spine and how supported you feel and the slight lumbar curve in your lower back which is natural 
and just notice the backs of the legs resting as your feet fall out to the side. And again, quieting all of your facial muscles, bringing your awareness back to your breath. And I invite you to just imagine yourself resting in one of your favorite places. Maybe you're in the mountains next to a stream or a waterfall with the mountain breeze on your face and the sound of the stream, the waterfall, the birds, the clouds floating by, the leaves fluttering above you in the wind, the fresh mountain air clearing and cleansing your body, your mind, your soul, feeling refreshed and renewed and revived. Mentally, you're clear and crisp and lucid. Physically, you're strong, flexible, vibrant, and youthful. Emotionally, you're filled with equanimity, peace, and grace. Spiritually, you feel tapped in, tuned in, feeling deeply connected with the sky, the earth, the air, the colors, the smells, the sounds. There's no separation. You have a deep connection. Yoga is about union feeling deeply connected with everything around you. Deeply connected. Go back to your breath. Dream and drift and drop in Shavasana. Letting go of any tension in the body. Dreaming and drifting and dropping. Relaxing your fingers, relaxing your toes letting your bones just surrender into the earth. This is so good for your parasympathetic nervous system, just calming down your mind, letting the fluctuations of the mind cease, just drop. And then go back to a beautiful memory, maybe a memory in your 20s or your 30s an incredible memory when you felt so physically strong and vibrant and youthful. Go back to that memory as if you were there right here, right now. Imagine what season it was. Was it spring, summer, winter, fall, morning, noon, or night? What were you wearing? How were you moving through space? Supposedly the mind doesn't know the difference between the past, present, and future. So imagine yourself there right here, right now running through space, feeling physically strong, flexible, vibrant, youthful, emotionally feeling equanimity, peace, and grace. All is well. Imagine as if you were there right here, right now, and you'll start feeling and moving and acting younger as you go back to those memories if you, as if you were there right here, right now. It's called the end game. Imagine yourself moving, feeling, thinking as if you were that vibrant, strong person again. You can become that person again. Go back into that beautiful space. Thank you so much for joining us on Forever Yoga. I'm Susan Foxley. If you have any questions about yoga, life coaching, my workshops, or today's shows, just go to SusanFoxley.com and remember, always, always, always go where the love is. Namaste.